name is Jos Koning and all my life I've played the violin for 50 years now and for the last 30 years it has been the five string viola. With folk music, rock music, classical music, many different ensembles at present with a harpist, plaisir d'amour, with a lot of people playing Irish music, Bona Boin, with four nickel harpas, nickel harpa a Swedish bowed instrument called Resonance, the Resonance Quartet. And I used this instrument, the Viola de Mora, especially in my old ensemble, Spelhaus. Spelhaus, playing house. Spelhaus was specialized in old Dutch music from the Baroque era, which is the period where this instrument was introduced into Europe. But now, unfortunately, Spelhuis doesn't exist anymore. So I thought what to do with this beautiful, beautiful instrument. I really like it. it. It has an intimate sound, which is created not only by the seven playing strings, quite a lot for a fiddler, seven playing strings, but here underneath you see the extra strings, seven resonance strings, and together they produce this very warm and beautiful sound. So I wanted to continue playing it and have some purpose for it. So I made a decision about the strings. Before it was tuned more or less like a viola da gamba, or you could say like a guitar, but then one octave higher. But now I've changed it to a, a fiddle tuning with seven strings tuned in fifths. Apart from the lower string, which is one tone higher. You see those very low strings here, very fat strings. And these are sensicore octave viola strings. Very difficult to find somewhere on the internet nearly sold out it seems but I could get hold of them um, at um, a British very small shop called Sonic Violin so thank you. I use it at present in the Nickel Harpa Quartet where we play among other pieces of different genres we play a Bach Concerto, double violin concerto in D minor, but we had to transpose it to G minor, one fifth down, because the nickel harpas, the two nickel harpas that play it, these are really tuned like a viola, so a fifth lower. So I had to play it a fifth lower on this instrument as well, and I give you a very small demonstration of uh, an excerpt from, uh, excerpt from the, the, the second movement of this concerto. sounds like a cello. I still have to get used to this seven strings, hard work on the lower strings. It's a heavy instrument and that's because of this very big piece of wood which you have to support. It's very demanding on your physical structure. And I still don't know whether it fits in the Celtic music in Buana Boin. We have to find out. And we can only try that when this corona crisis is more or less over. But I find it very exciting. <laughs> 